Hey all, this is part 7 and we're going to do an if statement with an object. So we're going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, an object containing the report totals for various teams and the string name of a team and determines if the given team has surpassed their goal of five reports and if they have returns a specific string. Your function should use an if statement to determine if the team in question has surpassed their goal of five reports and if they have should return the string team name has surpassed their goal with number of reports per team uh, reports, where team name has the value of the argument the function is called on, and number of reports for team is the number of reports in the object for team name. Uh, below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, generate report summary. Now, just reading that again, I'm not sure that I properly like described exactly what you're going to be up to here. But the idea is basically exactly what we had, um, where is it now, uh, in this one. We have a report totals, we have a team that we're checking for, and we want to make sure that it's above that value. And if it is, we log a very specific string to the console, and it's something like B team or blue has surpassed the goal with however many reports that team has within the object. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's copy our stub. And we'll copy our test cases. And in an effort to try to go more even keeled through these problems, I'm actually playing music in the background of my headphones. So we'll just, we'll see how that goes. Um, but if it seems off, that might be why. So if team names report total is greater than five. Now, there's a way for us to do this where we could save a variable first. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say variable... Um, uh, team total is equal to report totals at team name. So if we want a value inside of an object and we have the name of the key that represents a key inside of that object, we'll just say report totals, the name of the object, at the name of the key. So team total is the number of, uh, I suppose, reports for whichever team that we're looking at. So now let's wrap our if statement. And so we'll say if team total is greater than five, we want to return this string. Return team name, so team name plus space surpassed goal with, and then here's where we're going to put the number of reports for the team, which would be report totals at team name, but we already saved it as this variable team total, so we'll put that in there. So team total, and then a space afterwards, and then reports. So that should be it. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. B team has surpassed goal with seven reports, looking good. Blue has surpassed goal with 18 reports and undefined for the last value. So with that in mind, let's copy our function and try to finish this up before I sneeze. Run the test, error, uh, expected B. Ah, it's has surpassed. So it has surpassed, so hopefully I'll adjust this pseudocode by the time you guys see it. So it's going to be has surpassed. And the way we can tell is because if we look at here, it's saying B surpassed goal with 17 reports, and it expected that to equal B has surpassed. So this is what it expects to have happen, and this is what it got. So with that in mind, we'll just adjust what it gets by uh, adjusting line 6 to say has surpassed. So if we run this, and we're in good shape. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.